Right, Joe's Ellie, this is coming out to you, Joe's Ellie. You're going on there, Ellie, and you're talking about my grandbaby. You're going to headstones and you're cursing, right? We don't believe in cursing. We don't believe in Ouija boards. Or we don't believe in going to people like that. Because that's a pretty bad look on you. And it's you, Ellen, to see the ghosts. And it's you to see the shadows. And it's you, Ellen, that says, when young Joe gets out, you're going to get young Joe to deal with us. We have no problem with young Joe. We never did. I would stand behind young Joe, stand with him, die for him, and take a blow and give a blow for young Joe. But at the same time, Alan, I am one million percent behind my son. And the day you think that you bring Joe up to bully my son or my daughter-in-law that's having a child, a child for my son, my grandbaby, you're going to be mistaken. It'll be the last sorriest move you'll ever make. Don't do it, Joe. I swear to my father's grave, we don't want to fall out with you, Joe. We love you to bits, Joe. But at the same time, Joe, if you come looking for it, you're going to get it. Now, well, and this is me, Christy. Keep my unborn child's name out of your mouth. Are you listening? Because I have enough to say about you. When Joe got to jail, you ran up to the north, up to my house, Ellen, and staying in my house. For starters, you shouldn't be coming up to the boy's house, Ellen, unless you want to feed him or something, Ellen, do you? If it's scandal, you want to come out with Ellen and suck the cock, is it, Ellen? Sheesh. You should have gone to your mother's in Innes, Ellen. Now, you're on to keep on about my unborn child, Ellen, yeah? That I put my curses down the top of you and all belong to you, Ellen. And I don't do things like that. You that can't rear your, your little daughter, Alice. Me father and mother that rear John. Keep it up, Ellen. And look, I will not fall out with my Uncle Joe. But if Joe comes to the north, Ellen, I swear, and me dead grandfather, you come with him and me see what you fucking do. Here, you I, dirty I tramp, you. And you're on about doors, Ellen. You... Go and do what you want, because you're getting your stop Monday. And another thing, I swear me dead grandfather, you would have got my father caught with the guns, got me Uncle Davy caught with the guns. Keep it up, Ellen. Your shit will not be took. I'm not 13 or 14 no more. You come to the fucking north and bring who you want. You dirty country with your demons, devils taking you. Keep it up. My well, then, I did rear, I did rear your son, John. God bless your son, John. I did rear him. Me and my sister, Anne Marie. And my wife Elizabeth reared him. And we don't wish no badness on no child. So Ellen, I don't know why you're getting on trying to curse me old grandbaby for but I didn't even see yet and I can't wait to see him. Now Ellen, you're going around trying to get scandal. I swear my grandfather's grave, my woman is a decent moment. Not what I can say about you and a lot of people belong to you. And, and you know who I'm on about. Not a lot of people belong to you and you're self occluded. Do you understand that now, frickly face? Keep it up, Ellen, and you'll be a sorry woman. I swear my grandfather, want, want you'll be no gotten trouble. in this with your mock birthday shirt. I'll get your cuts down there. We want no trouble off Joe, but at the one time, believe me, we won't take it. Well, now good luck, more, and, and you dirty, you dirty tramp you. Now more than your lying, go and get your daughter off my 60 year old granny and rear your own daughter and your family. You dirty child abuser that's beating John and Tady into the face seven days a week and coming up to my house and Joe got jail. It's cook you come up first. Spunky mouth. Spare me mouth. Don't call him that. Yeah, dirty tramp. You don't keep it up, Ellen. Don't 